the pop icon's legendary California state. It's just a fun place. I love it. Neverland. It's a wonderful place. The place where Michael Jackson lives out all his private fantasies. Neverland is me. Come away to Neverland. Here's eight insane facts about Michael Jackson's legendary Neverland Ranch, the most famous celebrity residence in the world and the King of Pop's personal playground. Fact one. Having purchased the 2,700-acre Californian ranch for as much as $30 million back in 1988, Jackson continued to spend tens of millions of his vast fortune to create his very own fantasy world, giving in to every childhood whim and desire he had. Michael Jackson's vast Neverland Ranch had not just one, not two, but three custom-built railroads. The largest could fit a full-size train that ran around the entire property and featured a crown steam engine named after Michael Jackson's mother, Catherine, as well as a coal wagon and passenger cars. This railroad had its own train station, built in the style of the train station building at Disneyland, California. Becoming an iconic symbol of the Neverland Ranch, the hillside train station featured flagpoles and a large clock tower. The flower beds in front had the name Neverland with a second working clock face embedded in the foliage. Behind the structure, the landscape featured Jackson's Neverland logo, a boy in a crescent moon. Inside housed a sophisticated security system, fantasy figurines, arcade games, a life-size ticket inspector, and a scene from the Disney animated movie Peter Pan with Peter, Captain Hook, and Tinkerbell depicted in the rafters of the train station. The second railroad was a mile-long track that ran around the amusement park areas, featuring a small-sized CP Huntington electric locomotive and multiple passenger carriages. Small station stops were dotted along the track for people to disembark. Michael's third and smallest train was custom made in Germany by Electro Mobile Technik in 2001. It had 40 feet of track and was intended for Jackson's children to ride. However, that train was sold by Jackson to a memorabilia collector and was later resold at auction in 2018 for $30,000. Fact 2. The King of Pop's love for transport vehicles didn't stop there, as his extensive collection of unusual cars included a mini Dodge Viper decorated with characters from The Simpsons and a green replica 1909 de Tombe Model B. The old school car was a reproduction, hence the custom paint job which included a coat of arms and the famous initials of Michael Joseph Jackson on the side of the doors. The King of Pop also owned a 1986 GMC High Sierra which was retrofitted to be a fire truck with the addition of a water tank, hoses, and flashing red lights, as well as an electric horse-drawn carriage by the Montana Carriage Company. The red and black open-air carriage could seat four passengers plus the driver. In true style of a star known for his music, Michael had the carriage outfitted with a CD player and sound system. After his death in 2009, this modernized carriage was put to auction at around $10,000. But when you think celebrity, you think limo riding in luxury to an award show, or sipping champagne after a press meeting. Well, Michael Jackson owned four of them. They were the ultimate level of luxury. One, in particular, had an especially gaudy and custom interior chosen by Michael himself. The 1999 Rolls-Royce Silver Serif was as excessive as they come, with royal blue interior, rich walnut accents, leather, and details laced in 24 karat gold. At auction in 2009, the Seraph's value was listed at around $140,000 to $160,000. Another of his four limos was a 1990 Rolls-Royce Silver Spur II. This long, elegant ride was nearly as gaudy as the last and also was customized for the pop star. It was all about contrast, with vibrant white leather and rich black trim. The already tinted windows added extra privacy from the paparazzi with thick white curtains and the limo was complete with a full bar perfect for throwing back a cocktail after winning a horde of awards. Fact 3. Another car Michael Jackson splurged on was a vintage Cadillac Fleetwood, which was used in the filming of 1989's Driving Miss Daisy, just one item in his large movie memorabilia collection. This included a prototype E.T. head and the gloves worn by Johnny Depp in the 1990 movie Edward Scissorhands. An entire room was devoted to Shirley Temple, including a life-size cutout of her. There were rare items too, like Wizard of Oz, Jack in the Boxes, one for each main character, and statues and figurines of real people, including Marilyn Monroe, Bruce Lee, and Elvis. Michael Jackson also owned a collection of large-scale figurines of movie characters, including an oversized Superman and Star Wars characters, Darth Vader, C-3PO, R2-D2, Boba Fett, Yoda, and Han Solo in Carbonite. 
His passion for Disney was evident throughout the ranch, and he had a number of collectibles, everything from a diorama of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves that was gifted to him from the cast at Disney World, to a replica Pinocchio marionette, and an extensive collection of Disney figurines and memorabilia. His biggest purchase came in 1999, when the King of Pop bid for the Best Picture Oscar for Gone with the Wind at $1.5 million. It is one of the highest amounts anyone has ever paid for the Golden Statuette, which isn't even solid gold. The sellers speculated they would attract $300,000 for the Oscar before the auction. However, it saw a jump of over 400% when Michael Jackson purchased it. But well, what happened to it after that? It was assumed that Michael Jackson kept the million dollar Oscar at his Neverland estate or the Los Angeles home where he was living until he died. Unfortunately, the trophy was nowhere to be found, and it's believed a member of the Jackson family might have fled with the award hidden in a storage facility with other belongings, or stolen during the commotion when he passed away. Fact 4 As the crowned king of pop, it only seems appropriate that Jackson would have a throne. And not to worry, he did. The gold-painted chair had featured red upholstery surrounded by ornate carvings of a crown, swords, lions, horses, and other embellishments. Not only did Michael Jackson have a throne, but a custom state crown was created for the pop superstar when he showed his dressmakers a picture of the United Kingdom's imperial state crown. They taught themselves how to solder and sandblast metal, and over six weeks created a sterling silver crown encrusted with costume stones and pearls, in place of the second star of Africa, which sits at the center of the imperial state crown. Tompkins sandblasted an imitation diamond with the iconic image of Michael's dancing feet. He never wore the crown out, but years later his children asked Bush and Tompkins to make a regal robe and scepter for their dad to wear on Father's Day. And so, along the throne that stood in his ensuite bedroom at Neverland, the King of Pop's ceremonial dress was complete. Fact 5 Michael Jackson was a huge fan of Hollywood. So it makes sense that one of the most extensive and well-equipped outbuildings at Neverland Ranch was his 50-seat movie theater. The cinema had a lobby with a full stock concessions area. There were a number of Disney-themed animatronic dioramas in the lobby, including a scene from Pinocchio and another of Cinderella. Jackson's love for Peter Pan was also evident, with another diorama of Peter flying with Wendy, John, and Michael, and a full-scale Peter Pan movie poster. The cinema itself comprised of two private screening rooms with hospital beds for terminally ill children and a small stage area. He had his own special seat from where he could control most things showing on the screen. This included a phone and an intercom so that he could speak to any children who were in the beds at the back of the theater, and he always went up to meet them. It wasn't unusual for a phone call to come through while you were watching a film, and then Michael would be full of apologies for the disruption. Then, at times, he'd want to talk, so rather than talk his way through the film, he would stop, talk, and then go back to it. Fact 6 Michael Jackson was understandably worried about his own security, especially after receiving death threats, having had multiple stalkers, kidnap attempts made throughout his long career, as well as being hounded by paparazzi. Along with significant locks on his bedroom door, he had a hidden safe room installed in his bedroom closet. When the police raided Neverland ahead of his 2003 trial, the room was cluttered with dolls, vintage toys, tea sets, books, magazines including some adult ones, a bed, and a handful of life-size child dolls posed in strange configurations. Part of the hoard included finger painting done by a young Macaulay Culkin and a signed photo of the child star with the inscription, Don't Leave Me Alone in the House, a reference to Culkin's starring role in the film Home Alone. Michael also installed a series of bells that would chime when anyone approached his bedroom door. Culkin recalling, quote, There was like a walkway kind of thing where if somebody was approaching the door, it would kind of like ding dong, ding dong. Fact 7 Michael Jackson's love of children was on full display throughout Neverland Ranch. There were many paintings featuring Jackson surrounded by children or ornamental cherubs and dozens of bronze statues, custom made by sculptor Giovanni P, of children dotted around the grounds. Some of the statues were outside, while smaller ones were inside the house. Perhaps following the Peter Pan theme, many emulated fairies and other whimsical interactions. However, some depictions featuring children caused controversy as they appeared creepy to some. After the King of Pop's death in 2009, a collection of 28 bronze statuettes went up for auction for $2.5 million. Many, however, are still unsold and have been selling for around $150,000 each. Fact 8 Michael Jackson had a love for all things regal, but also the cutting edge in technology, and his home reflected that. Along with an expansive video game arcade in the pool house, Jackson also had a Sega flight simulation game with a complete setup. 
including a safety barrier and attendance station. He liked kitchen gadgets and had a customized Brevetti Gaggio espresso machine, lavishly decorated in chrome and brass, with an engraved Neverland plaque and topped with an eagle figure. In a similar Neverland theme, his kitchen also had a red train-shaped tea kettle with moving wheels. The fascination with gadgets extended into the bedroom because despite his claims, rumors that Michael Jackson owned a personal hyperbaric chamber were in fact true. Hyperbaric chambers create a pressurized environment of pure oxygen to help heal injuries, burns, and infections. However, while Jackson did indeed have one, it was not to sleep in. Adrian Garay, CEO and president of Hyperbaric Modular Systems, confirmed that in 1994, Jackson, quote, expressed interest in having his own personal chamber, and he had one installed at Neverland. Quote, Michael did not sleep in the chamber as doing so would cause oxygen toxicity in the body and he would have died. Garay said, quote, instead, he probably used the chamber at home for one or two hours at a time for health reasons. 